Eaves. Me. All right, 2000, calculus question number two. Um, it's what? A, B form. It's an A, B response question. It shows two runners on a track, straight track, from time zero to time 10. The graph here is runner A. And then runner B is defined by a function here, V of t equals 24t over the quantity 2t plus 3. And the first question is find velocity of runner A and velocity of runner B at time 2 seconds and indicate units. Units are a big deal on this problem, all right? Well, first of all, the instinct might have been to go and try to read this graph, but I hope you saw right away you were never going to get the value you need. Again, AP test, four decimal places. But you should have caught what? That, the, that this speed is linear, right? He started at zero time at zero meters per second, at, and he ran over three seconds to 10 meters per second. So we can find the velocity of runner A simply by doing 10 minus zero over three minus zero meters, all right? Per second, and I get here. If I do this, oh wait a minute, I can't do it. All right, now give me his meters per second per second. I'm sorry. You have to. If you do this, your units are going to be 10 meters per second per three seconds, right? And you want to know his velocity at two. So when you get 10 thirds, your units are meters per second squared. You want to know his time at two seconds, or his velocity at two seconds for runner A. So you have to multiply that by two. You should have got an answer of 6.6 .6 repeating. And again, if we round this to four decimal places, the velocity of runner A is 6.667 .6 meters per second. Now, velocity B is much easier. You just plug that in. Do we agree? B of 2 equals 24 times 2 over 2 times 2 plus 3. And if you use your calculator here, now, this is an older test, so it only had three decimal places, but you should go to four. What was the fourth decimal? One meters per second. All right. Each velocity is worth a point. One point, one point. So if we had a 48 over 7? That'd be right. Okay. Yep. They'd have to give credit for that. All right. So that's letter A. Two points there. Hopefully you got them both. All right. Now, letter B. Find the acceleration of runner A and the acceleration of runner B at time two seconds. Okay. We have a velocity graph. The slope of the velocity is the acceleration. All right. So for runner A, we've already done this work. This you can do as a slope, right? Uh -huh. So runner A is just 10 meters per second over 3 seconds because it's 0, 0 is the other point. That is, and that was the one I was looking at last time accidentally. And again, meters per second squared, right? And acceleration. Now, runner B, we're going to have to find V prime. Do you guys agree? And it is a quotient rule. All right, derivative of the top is 24 times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And I would not simplify in this case, guys, all right? Because it's a fairly easy number to plug in. Do we agree? We're going to find V prime of 2. 24, 2 times 2 is 7 minus... 48 times 2 all over 7 squared. And again, if you type this in your calculator. And this one would actually, I think, work better if you actually uh, expanded it and then you get rid of the 48s right away and you get. That could be. Oh, good point. You could do that. You're right. I see it. That would have been better. You're right. You could have done that and got these gone. But either way, no matter how you do this, you're going to end up with 72 49 right? Which was 1.4694 four meters per second squared. Again, none of the work counted this time. Both answers were a point. One, two. So think about it. We are 
Every problem like this is worth nine points. We got four, so what's C worth? Holy crap. Five points. Actually, C is worth four, and then units across a whole bunch of things is worth a point. We'll talk about that at the end. All right, there we go. So we have those two answers. So for letter A right now, we had this. We had 6.666 meters per second for A, and up here for B, we had 6.857 meters per second. Now for A here for acceleration, And we go four decimal places. Again, I'm writing three because this is an older test. And this older test used to only go three spots. We go four. All right, there we go. Now, it says find the total distance run by runner A and the total distance run by runner B. Area under the curve. It is area under the curve from zero to 10 seconds. Now, for runner A, it is the integral of zero to 10, all right? of velocity of A, T, dt. Do you guys agree? Mm -hmm. And actually, the AP didn't write this. I would have. But do we agree that's equivalent to 1 half, 3 times 10, plus 7 times 10? Did you guys all hopefully get this one? All right, 85 meters. And again, units. All right, this was our two points. They're looking for these numbers. They're looking for the area. They're not just looking for an answer. They're looking to see that you took the areas. So these two numbers is worth a point. This line here, and then 85 meters is worth a point. So if you got those, give yourself points. Now the integral of b. So we, we had to write that integral. You had to write this. That was the point. You didn't have to have the integral this time. I you know again it's just showing as area under curve. You had to have that. All right. Now. The next one is 0 to 10, and the velocity of b, I would not waste time doing that. I would just write right in the function, okay? Now again, this is a calculated problem. This is worth a point if you have that integral. Now you type this into your ti. And your ti should just spit out that. Yeah, I think I had a one, you know, on yours. But again, that's my answer key up here only has okay. three. All right, so that's one point here, and then one point for the answer. And I put by TID four, so they know exactly where I got it. Lastly, there's one point for units. You have to have all the units in all parts. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. If you have all those units on answers for A, B, and C, give yourself a point for the night. All right. Again, not a real hard problem. I think this is one we can handle. All right, Luke, we can shut her down. I'm gonna post that. So you.